Hello, Virginia NAMI walkers. Like I mentioned in our last video, we knew that this year we were gonna need to have our virtual kickoff events since we're going to walk your way. More on what that means soon. But we knew it was going to be very important to have this information out to you all virtually. So we decided to pre-record some of our segments so that you could view them online at your own time. So here's my next one. It's why we walk. As I mentioned in our last segment on suicide awareness and prevention, we walk to promote awareness of mental health and to reduce stigma. We walk to raise funds for NAMI's mission of advocacy, education, and support across the state of Virginia. And of course, we also walk to build community and let other people know that they are not alone. Just to remind you that you're not alone, here's some testimonial videos from some of our past or present walkers they explain why they walk for NAMI walks. Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth Sluter. I am the peer resource coordinator over at the Warsaw Recovery Support Center. And why do I get involved in the NAMI walks? Well, I've been doing this for about five years and so generally we take a little team, we get together, we um, support each other by designing a t-shirt and usually somebody is the winner and then they get a little surprise like a gift card from Walmart or something like that and it just gets us all involved in what we're doing as far as getting excited about the walk. Last year we did one with um, COVID and we just kind of walked around at our center rain or shine and we still had fun with that. It was just so nice to be able to talk along the way and share each other's stories about why it matters. Um, I personally have a family member with a mental health um, challenge that just needs support. And uh, as far as myself, I need support as well. These walks, I generally would just encourage anybody in the community just to get involved, either with a team or just to walk with uh, us if we're in Richmond or even just at our center right now with uh, with the pandemic going on and it just helps to raise money that goes towards our classes to for NAMI facilitators for the NAMI connections or the family support classes. So we really are excited about having these opportunities to get the community involved and at our center we'd like to do that um, all the time. And every year, this is just one of the many things that we enjoy. When we go to the walk, we love to have uh, musicians we see over in Richmond when they do that. Um, and they play along the way. And it's nice to hear the, them cheering us on. And it's usually a 5K. And I love all the vendors as well because it's a wonderful resource just to walk around and you feel like you're getting ready to go shopping and it's a lot of nice freebies and you can go around. But due to the pandemic, we're not going to be able to do that. But maybe next year. But right now is still a good time to get involved. And when we have tickets for sale for NAMI, um, I encourage anybody to purchase one of those so that we can continue on our mission to keep supporting people with their... <clears throat> facilities uh, where they're teaching the NAMI support classes or the family to fam family support groups as well. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell and thank you all so much. I hope to see you guys along the way. Bye. Hi, my name is Beth Tolly and I'm coming to you today to urge you to support NAMI Walks Virginia. I participate in NAMI Walks Virginia because I believe in all the programs that NAMI Virginia is doing to support individuals and families with mental illness or mental health concerns. Programs like support groups, educational programs, and also the advocacy work they're doing. Uh, as science discovers new information, as clinical trials are done, we are learning all the time about, about mental health and mental illness uh, themselves, but also about what is effective treatment and in some cases, what isn't effective that might have been believed to be f effective previously. So I'm a huge supporter of research and of um, advocacy to be able to implement changes based on what we learn. I'm also a big supporter of the groups which are offered free 
to individuals. And it is because these programs, support groups and educational programs are provided free, it is fundraising is needed. And NAMI Walks is the biggest fundraiser for NAMI Virginia. So for that reason, I'm walking and I'm donating and I encourage you to join me. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sandy Modishard, current president of NAMI Virginia. I'm also the program's director for NAMI Mid-Tide Water. Plus I wear various other hats with NAMI. I've been with NAMI for a long, long time. Uh, one important hat that I wear is co-leader or co-captain of the NAMI Mid-Tide Water Trekkers team. We're a team up in the Middle Peninsula, Northern Neck area, and we have lots of fun doing NAMI walks. I walk because one in five people has a mental health condition. One in five. My son is one of those people. Uh, there's so many more. There's so many more. Um, I walk to help get rid of the stigma associated with mental health. Um, there's, there's so much that we can do. We need to raise awareness with mental health. Um, that, that just happens to be one of the things that COVID has brought to light. But we need more. We need more. And NAMI Walks is our big uh, fundraiser every year. And we're so happy to have you join us. We would love to have you join us. We, um, we, we, NAMI does so much. We're a grassroots organization and we do things like get together, have fun. We have raffles, we have giveaways. We um, have camaraderie, that's a big thing. We do health, we do education, we do advocacy. And our education programs are next to none. They're so, so important and they're so great. We have family to family, peer to peer. We have support groups. Those are three big things, support, education, and advocacy. And we provide these programs free to anybody who needs them. And we want to help people that, know, that want us, that seek us out. And we want to help, we, we want to help people find us and the walks is one way to do that. So please join us on October the 9th. We're doing this virtually this year again, as we did last year, but we still find ways to get together. We get our little affiliate groups together and we have little small walks, little gatherings, and we record them. And, and it's such fun. And we, we're doing such an important thing for NAMI. All, all our programs have to remain free. We have to do this to, to help people who have mental health conditions and their families. Their families don't know what to do. They come to classes, family to family classes. I'm a teacher and I see them cry and I see them say, this is the first time I've told my story. This is the first time I've been able to talk about it because now I found people that understand. So add your voice, add your voice on October 9th and please, please join us. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you then. Awesome. So now let's talk together about our walk. Our walk will take place a little bit differently this year. We are NAMI walking your way so that wherever you are, wherever you land across the state of Virginia, you can participate along with us too. So our walk will take place as a part of the United Day of Hope on October 9th. This year, NAMI Virginia is hosting predominantly virtual programming on walk day. This could look like us having some activities for you to engage in for your mental health and well-being, your self-care. There's going to be some yoga videos. I'm working on getting some mindful art making. Be on the lookout for those on our social media channels. And we will also, of course, have a great and grand walk day ceremony live broadcasted through Facebook and YouTube. We'll also be offering in-person regional hubs at affiliate sites around the state. This looks like some affiliates having a draft group where you can pick up your t-shirt, get some spirit, get some cheer, do your sign of hope where you show why you're walking, and really just feel and experience your community with others. Other NAMI affiliates across the state 
are hosting smaller in-person walks as part of their regional hubs. Keep your eyes peeled on our social media and the social media of the NAMI affiliate that is closest to you to know what in-person opportunities there might be near you on walk day. So of course, as I mentioned, our walk day ceremony will take place at 12 noon live on walk day, October 9th. It will also be shared on YouTube. Our other virtual content will be available throughout the walk day, as I mentioned, and we will flood social media in order to raise awareness and remind others that they are not alone. In-person affiliate hubs are a location where walkers can collect their walk day t-shirts, get some cheer, encouragement, and feel connected with their community. Watch your local affiliate's Facebook page closely, as well as the NAMI Walks page, to learn about what hubs in your area may be more available as we approach. So whether you join us on site or virtually, it's important that we flood social media with our content because we won't be out somewhere visibly all together due to COVID and the other constraints of this year. It's important that we find a way to be seen. And that is something that social media is a very helpful tool for. So this year, we'll have three main hashtags and messages that we want you to use to flood social media and get the word out. Remember, being visible and spreading awareness help destigmatize these topics, and it's an important part of our advocacy for the walk. So our three hashtags and our three pushes this year are hashtag why I walk, hashtag walk your way, and hashtag 130 challenge. Why I walk is exactly what it sounds like. You take to YouTube, to Facebook, to TikTok, to wherever your favorite social media is, and you tag NAMI Virginia and NAMI Walks Virginia, and you explain why it is that you walk. Is there someone specific that you're walking for? Is there a story you have to tell about your own mental illness and your mental health and well-being? You explain in your own words why it is you feel passionate about walking for NAMI. Our second hashtag, walk your way, is just a way for us to show everyone that even though we are far apart, there's so many different ways you could walk. Maybe you go on a walk with your favorite fur friend around the neighborhood to get your miles in. Maybe you hike through the Blue Ridge on walk day. Maybe you plan a walk up to your favorite restaurants with your friends and you walk around together. Maybe you skateboard, maybe you bike, maybe you swim. However you get those miles and choose to not walk is up to you this year, which I think is pretty fun. You can get creative. Our last hashtag I mentioned is the 130 challenge. As I mentioned in the suicide awareness and prevention video, the 130 challenge exists to remind us that 130 American lives are lost to suicide every day. 130 challenge is all about making others aware of and reminding people that that number exists and that those people matter. It also destigmatizes the topic in a way that it begins the conversation um, in a way that might be, you know, um, a little more fun. It's easier to talk about something when you have a reason, such as collecting miles with all of your friends, then it might be to just talk about those difficult topics without any reason to do so. So that 130 challenge is all about starting a conversation about suicide awareness and prevention across the state of Virginia. So that completely outlines all of the programming that we will have available for you on walk day. We hope to see your pictures. We hope to see your videos. And if you haven't already, please make sure to go ahead on Facebook and like the NAMI Walks Virginia page, as well as NAMI Virginia. If you're on Instagram, check out NAMI Walks VA and NAMI Virginia. Excellent. Next time, I will see you with some helpful fundraising and team building tips.